okay so let's jump to chemotherapy and we'll begin with beta lactams right why are they called beta lactams that's because they have a beta lactam ring in their structure and this ring is destroyed by penicillinase or beta lactamase which is produced by bacteria now which all drugs are included in beta lactams these are penicillins cefs and carbapenem right and these are cell wall acting agent now there are some other antibiotics which are also cell wall acting agent like cycles buses and vans cyclosporin bacitracin and vancomycin okay so let's begin with penicillin now penicillin is on the basis of their susceptibility to gram positive and gram negative bacteria divided into narrow spectrum and broad spectrum right they are called narrow spectrum because they have restricted activity towards gram positive bacteria that's because they either have old babajis or either have fat babajis this old and fat babajis could only enter the cell wall of gram positive bacteria not into the cell wall of gram negative bacteria because gram negative bacteria have little porins and this fat one cannot go inside this porin right <clears throat> so among narrow spectrum you have natural penicillin like penicillin g or penicillin v penicillin g is injectable form and this can be used in rat bite fever now among narrow spectrum penicillin these fat babajis are so fat that they could only enter into the cell wall of one bacteria that is staphylococcus aureus that's why they are also called anti staphylococcal penicillin or very very narrow spectrum and these fat babajis are resistant to penicillinase or beta lactamase they are so fat that they don't die out of this right For examples are methicillin cloxacillin and nephicillin these are excellent for staphylococcus aureus but a new problem is emerging is mrsa methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus we'll talk about that in a moment right and main side effect of nephicillin and methicillin is interstitial nephritis and for nephicillin and for interstitial nephritis now in the broad spectrum we have hot models or super hot models these hot and super hot models are so slim and thin that they could enter inside the pores of gram negative also so no doubt they have activity among gram positive but can act like among gram negative also so in extended spectrum antibiotics we have ampicillin and amoxicillin right and among super hot models these are also called anti pseudomonas they could also kill pseudomonas which is a nightmare for surgeon this include a car and a pipe carbenicillin and piperacillin these super models are also susceptible for beta lactamase right so narrow spectrum like penicillin g this extended spectrum and anti pseudomonas all can be killed by beta lactamase which is produced by bacteria so the super hot models cannot go alone they need some security like sulbactam tazobactam and clavulanic acid these breaks down the penicillinase which is produced by bacteria so you got to give them security right so bacitracin you remember car bus and a van bacitracin also a cell wall acting true about penicillin g it can be used in rat bite fever as well not true about piperacillin it is effective not true about piperacillin they are not effective against beta lactamase they are super hot models you got to give them security like sulbactam or tazobactam right which of the following agent cause interstitial nephritis methicillins or nephicillins which of the following is anti pseudomonal piperacillin drug of choice in neurosyphilis is procaine penicillin one of the preparation of penicillin and remember drug of choice for syphilis is penicillin of course benzathin penicillin is a long acting penicillin and this can be given as a prophylaxis in rheumatic fever in child with rheumatic fever one of the following is not penicillin is susceptible remember only fat babajis cloxacillin Which of the following drugs is useful against pseudomonas? It's piperacillin. Super hot models with security. All of the following are uses of penicillin G. These are the uses of penicillin G. Last man, listeria, actinomycosis, syphilis, tetanus, meningitis, and anthrax. Right? Last man, rickettsia infection cannot be done by penicillins. 
What do you need for rickets cell infection? Rickshaw? Nope. You got to give him Audi. Tetracyclines, guys. Tetracyclines for rickets here. Audi. Not Rickshaw. A diabetic patient develops cellulitis and he develops MRSA. Now this is very important for you people. MRSA drugs. The drugs can be used in MRSA. These are vancomycin. You remember vans? Vans, buses and cycles. These are also salvolactin. Ticoplanin and linazonin. Fifth generation cephalosporins like ceftaroline. Mupirocin and fusidic acid. These are drugs which can be given in MRSA. Very very important. Imipanum cannot be given.